we can also create text files from a PowerMill macro now. What I'm going to do here is to open up a very simple macro which will create a text file with some just simplified data. So if I open this up, so the first command we've got is file open and we tell it a file. I've got c slash temp slash test dot txt. So this file will be created. If it already exists, it will be overwritten. So we're opening it for write as, and we just give it a handle like a nickname. We're calling it output file. We can call it anything. So I'm going to go over that command. Then I'm going to write a line of text, and uh, so I use the file write command. And because I'm not using a variable, I've just encased it in dollar curly brackets, uh, and the uh, the actual text is in quotations. So I'm just putting first line of text for the text file, and I'm writing it to output file. That's what we named the file when we opened it. Uh, now I'm going to create a string uh, with some numerical values in. So that's a single string, so that will all go on one line. Uh, and I've called that string dollar next line. So now I'm going to write to the file dollar next line to the output file. So we're going to write that string into the output file. Uh, now I'm going to create a list, uh, in this case an integer list of uh, some numbers. I've called it dollar some numbers. That's my list variable name uh, and I'm giving it five numbers. Now when we write a list to a file each item in the list will get its own line. So I'm going to write that list into the file then close the file and then open the file so that you can see it. So this is the text file we've just created so first line of text for the file then the string was written on the next line and then the list was written on individual lines. Okay, so if I just run that from the scratch, you'll see it's obviously very quick. Now, I've got another macro, more complex. Uh, we can take a look at it in the debugger. So this is actually going to ask me for a file name to create, and it's going to loop. Uh, we can see down here where my cursor is. It's going to loop through all of the tools in the project. Uh, and it's going to write a line of data for each tool which includes the uh, the name, the diameter, the tip radius, the length, number of flutes, the type of tool, the overhang, the holder name and the tool number. So let me just close the debugger. I'll just run that. So ask me for a file. I'm just going to put it in uh, etemp and I'll call it qqq. That's fine and open and that's created this file which is a .csv file so it's opened it up into uh, Excel uh, and as you can see um, let me just uh, actually just go into format no I won't because my resolution is too low so don't worry about that um, but you can see it's put all the names, the diameters, the lengths, the uh, holder names, etc. into the text file. So very useful function for creating text files from data inside of PowerMill.